All right, so check it out. We have so far the backend, so we have an API, a working API, and we uh, successfully published some uh, some Mercury events. And uh, I don't have the Mercury server running right now, but once we get to the part when we start sending messages, you know, when we start posting to the API, we're gonna just uh, you know run the, that, and uh, and everything's gonna be great. So the just uh, you know like a heads up about this video it's going to be quite long because we're going to deal with the uh, view and a view we're going to be using the view router obviously and we're going to use view x for the state because uh, even though i don't have a lot of things going on i always use view x i don't want to be dealing with the events and all that stuff so that's what we're going to be using and uh, we so basically i'm going to have to jump uh, back and forth between the these different things otherwise i'm um, just going to be like reading code from a from another screen so yeah just a heads up if you have absolutely no idea how to use view or view router or uh, view x you might find find it kind of hard to follow along because i'm gonna go kind of quickly over this but if you I mean, I can uh, cover some of this stuff in future videos if you want to. I can like make uh, an hour long or a half an hour long video for each one of these. And uh, yeah, so it's just that's. Uh, I just wanted to say that. So we're just gonna get started. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna install uh, Composer Required Encore. That's how we're gonna you know add Vue.js to our application, to our Symfony application. And that is going to add uh, multiple uh, files that. Uh, so that uh, Webpack is going to need. As you can see, we have assets, Webpack Encore in the config, and then we have webpack.config.js, which is the file we want. Now, right here to use Vue.js, what we need to do is we need to add this line. So we're gonna enable view loader. And uh, if you go back, what we need to do is we need to npm install, so we can install all the, so the billion node modules that we're gonna need to, to run this. And we're gonna let this uh, finish. And while this is working, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my uh, to my uh, index slash index in my templates. Uh, I'm just gonna remove this. So far, this is all I have. So as you can see, we if I log in, this is uh, what I have a blank page. And uh, we're just gonna add right here. So as you can see, this is finished. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a div. Uh, with an ID app, so this is where our app is going to be, and uh, I'm just gonna add an, another block. So we're gonna do block JavaScript, so JavaScript, and uh, let's end block. And uh, right here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use Encore, so Encore, and notice that in the webpack.config.js, the only entry that we have is the app, so we're just gonna load this file. So we're gonna do Encore uh, entry script tags, and that is going to take a name and it's going to generate script tags that needed that are needed for uh, for this entry specific entry that we have right here and in that file the only thing that we have in the js is console.log um, hello world. all right so we're gonna open up the dev tools i'm gonna go to the console and i'm gonna refresh this notice that uh, i can't spell today and the uh, so I have this console log uh, in the file, sorry about the weird cut. Uh, I have this console log in the file, and now what we need to do is we need to generate all the necessary files. So we, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do npm run watch, and notice that this is going to throw a new error. It's gonna tell us that we need the view and the view loader and the view template compiler. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take all of these, I'm gonna copy the command. What? So npm run watch again, I'm gonna copy the command that they gave me right here, so like that, I'm gonna paste, and I'm gonna just hit enter, and it's going to install these dependencies that I'm gonna, that are required for uh, Vue.js to work. And uh, this is pretty much all we're gonna need to do in terms of Vue, then we're gonna run npm run watch again, and it's gonna, you know, watch the files that we got, so I have hello world right here, so if I just go back and refresh, I should I should see this hello world. All right, so let's just go ahead and start doing the view stuff. So we're gonna import view from view, and uh, we're just gonna do a new view, and this takes an object. So the first thing is the render. I always start with that. So we're gonna render uh, the app component that is not created yet, and we're gonna mount everything to the app div. 
All right, so we're just gonna need to import the, uh, you know, we're gonna create and import this. So, oh, and slash app dot view. All right, so let's generate some scaffold. This is gonna say, um, let's just do a little And we need to import it right here. So app from app and let's see what we're gonna get. So I'm gonna refresh this and as you can see, I got nothing. And that's because why? Oh yeah, so it says that uh, I need some, some sort of a root element because I cannot have just uh, things like that. So as you can see, we have a lower right here. So basic stuff, Vue.js, I keep passing. And uh, so so we have that. Now what, what we're gonna do is we're gonna, as I said, be using Vue Router and the Vue X. So, what I'm gonna to try to do is not jump between those a lot. So I think we should start with with the UI first. So we're just gonna put down the UI and and this is what I'm gonna use for my front end. So as you can see, we have this fiddle. Uh, I'm gonna take the CSS and then I'm gonna to try to put it somewhere. So I'm just gonna do, I'm gonna to go to the source and not the source, the public. And uh, I'm gonna create a, CSS slash main.css. Gonna put some CSS right here. And uh, we don't need any JS. I'm gonna go back to my HTML, so paste.html the twig. And I'm gonna add this link to this file that I just created. So we're just gonna do asset uh, CSS slash CSS slash main.css. And uh, we have some other stuff in the resources. You can see that we're gonna need bootstrap and uh, not jQuery, not bootstrap, not JS, but font awesome. So we're just gonna take these URLs as well. We're gonna add them right here, so link, and uh, another link to the font awesome. Now I think it's overkill to load the entire font awesome CSS just for the sake of an arrow, but we're just gonna be wasteful this time. And uh, let's copy the entire code that we have right here and going back to our uh, app.view. I'm just gonna change everything with that. So I'm just gonna paste that right here and I'm gonna refresh this. Yeah, so I just had to stop the server and run it again. And as you can see, we have uh, our thing right here. So I think I'm just gonna remove this. I'm gonna include the link to this uh, UI, that I, the UI that I'm using. So let's just clean some of the stuff that we don't need right now. So I'm just gonna get rid of this. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna be left with this. Now, the, the, you know, the way I think I'm gonna go about this is I'm gonna have a left side, a folder called left, where it's going to contain all the left components and a folder called right, where we're gonna have all the right components. This one is gonna be a separate component. Each one of these is gonna be a user and the same thing uh, goes for these. So the each message is gonna be a separate component where we're gonna decide whether it's his. So it's gonna to be to the left or to the right. And we're gonna have the input in a separate message and a separate component. And uh, I think that's all we're gonna need. So let me up, bring up uh, my things again. So inside components, I'm gonna create left slash left dot view. Okay, so I need to turn fucking, fuck. Caps off, so let's do left slash left dot view. All right, some scaffolding again, and uh, where is this, the left? And I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna do left. So this is gonna be the left component. And I'm just gonna go to the left and uh, put everything right here. And the same thing is gonna be done for the right. So we're gonna take this and we're just gonna do a right like that. And then uh, we still need to import those. Uh, I just want to create the files first. So we're going to do right slash uh, right dot view scaffolding again. And uh, let's paste everything right here. Going back, let's import these two. So import left and uh, import right. Let's uh, give past the components. So left, come on, left and right. So if I go back and refresh this, I should get the same exact thing. So let's just go one step further and we're gonna go to the left and each one of these, uh, I'm just gonna remove all of these and I'm gonna leave the first one. So let's just get rid, uh, get rid of all of these and just leave the first one because the first one contains uh, something that is crucial and important. As you can see, this one is selected, so we're gonna need this to be active. And uh, to do that, we need to add this active. So where's that? As you can see, we have this active class 
and basically what I did is I took the CSS of this active class and I put it in another CSS which is the specific to the view router. Now uh, I'm gonna try not to miss that when I get to the view router section but if I did just let me know in the comments please so I can uh, you know explain in the description what I did right here. So I'm gonna remove this and I'm gonna remove the text white and I'm gonna just refresh as you can see we're gonna get a regular one. So let's take this uh, entire link and let's create we're gonna create a component called message and uh, that is going to be right actually this is not a message we're just gonna call it user or conversation so let's just do conversation and uh, we're gonna create this uh, conversation.view file so again some scaffolding and uh, let's put everything right here and uh, let's import that so yeah, the HP Storm just went fucking ham again. Alright, we gotta close this and open it again. Alright, so each conversation, and we need to import the conversation. And let's pass that to the components. So, components, converse, comma. Conversation like that. So, going back and refresh, we should see exactly the same thing. Let's do the same thing to the right. So, the right, we're gonna create a new. So, let's take a look at the right first. So, right, as you can see, we have a bunch of messages. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave just a single message, and then that is gonna be this one. And I'm gonna remove everything else. And I'm just gonna do message like that. And later on, we're gonna pass some props and stuff to this. So, let's just Try to create this message. So message dot view and scaffold scaffold like that. And let's paste the message. So refreshing again, we're gonna see a single no, we saw nothing. Alright, but that's because I need to import the message. And I keep forgetting about that. So message and compo fuck yeah, components and uh, the message. So refreshing again, there goes our message. Now let's get uh, the, import, uh, the input into a separate component. Component, so input. And uh, we're gonna go to, so do I need, yeah, I'm just gonna leave it like that. And uh, input dot view. Again, scaffold, and this is TDs. And we're just gonna paste that right there. And hopefully the comments not gonna cause a problem right here. And uh, let's just, yeah, uh, that's all we're going to need to do right here. And uh, so we need the input. Input like that and input. So if I refresh, same exact result. And um, so I think that's pretty much all we're going to need. Now, what, I, what I'm thinking about doing is consuming the API first and then worrying about the routing and everything else related to it. So. I'm just going to go to my uh, terminal and I'm going to do, I'm going to open up a new one and and I'm going to do what it's called, uh, npm install vuex because I would like to get some conversation and set the values so we can start seeing some results because uh, otherwise this is just random stuff. So let's just go ahead and create in our JS. I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call this store, store.js. And uh, in this one, what we're going to do is we need to, you know, set up uh, the regular view. So we're going to do export. Actually, we need to import view from uh, view. Import view x from view x. And uh, we're just going to do view dot use view x like that. And then we're going to export default view view x dot start. I love how I love how every, everybody decides to go to work today. I mean, even if we are locked down, you can see fucking bikes, fucking machines. So we're gonna just import a new store and I'm gonna use modules because that's what I usually use. And in this one, we're just gonna have like uh, two basic modules. We're gonna have uh, a conversation module and a user module. So we're gonna do modules slash user.js and just to export default. And uh, let's just uh, create another one, call this conversation. Oh, I cannot use the same name. I'm gonna call this conversation. Conversations, conversations, or conversation. 
Yeah, it's just kind of conversation.js. So we have these two. What we need to do is we need to import them. So con, no, conversation like that. And then we're gonna import the user. Oh, come on, user. And then just pass the conversation and the user. So we have these two. Now let's go back to our app.js file and we need to import our store and pass it to the view instance so it doesn't know that we have a store going on. So we're gonna import the store from the store. And uh, I just need to pass it right here. And since I'm using ES6, we don't have to do that because it's, uh, it's the same name being repeated. So, so yeah, that's uh, all we need to do. Now let's, uh, let's just refresh, see if, if everything is gonna work according to plan. So we have no errors. And let's, uh, and going back to the left component. So we're gonna go to left again, so we can start, uh, you know, calling some actions and we're gonna start writing the actions themselves. So left, uh, left dot view. What we're gonna do right here <coughs> is we're gonna tell you whenever this is mounted, we would like to do this dot store. So basically we're gonna call an action. So we're gonna dispatch and dispatch to get uh, conversations. We're still gonna create this one and then uh, I'm not gonna worry about doing anything right now. So let's just go to get conversations. So the module and let's create this action and we're gonna have a commit and uh, absolutely nothing else we have no parameters and this is going to return fetch and we're gonna make uh, some calls so we're gonna do so i didn't so then and uh, yeah we're just gonna get some result and we're gonna set them right here and everything else so let's just do result uh, let's get the JSON out of the result because from this, uh, this fetch does not get a, get that by default. So the URL that we're going to get the conversations from is slash conversations. All right, so that is the URL from the back end that we created ourselves. And then we're going to get some sort of a result again. And what we need to do is we need to set that to the state. And uh, so we're going to do set conversations. And right here in the state, we're gonna create this conversations array that is gonna be empty for now. And that's where all uh, our stuff is going to be. So we're gonna do set conversations and right here, we're just gonna pass it the result that we're gonna get. So result. And uh, I think that's all we're gonna need to do. Let's create some getters. So let's just do conversations. And uh, we're gonna need the state and we're gonna get uh, the state.conversations and the mutations obviously so let's do set conversations and this one takes the state and the payload which is the data that we're going to set in this case it's going to be an array and uh, state dot pay no state dot uh, conversations equals the payload all right so let's see if this is going to work i'm going to go back to the left component and what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the map getters to get my uh, so map getters to get my conversations from view x. Honestly, can yeah, it doesn't need to be the, the map getters. Uh, yeah, let's just keep going with this. So map getters, we gonna pass an array, and from that array, I would like to get the conversations. And uh, I think I'm just gonna display them right here. So just do conversation. So let me just copy this. I'm tired of writing that name. It's kind of long. So let's just go back and refresh, see what we're gonna get right here. So we have an error. So left, left, make sure to provide name option. What? I just copied, fucking hell, it's computed, not, uh, I didn't even notice that. It's computed, not, uh, not that thing. So as you can see, we have our conversations right here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna loop through these and we're gonna paste, uh, uh, not paste, but we're gonna display one of them, you know, all of them right here to the left side. So we're gonna be using, the, so let me just get rid of that. And I'm gonna use a template. I don't know why I always like to use that, but I always like to wrap everything in my templates. So we're gonna do a conversation and let's get the index in the key just in case I need them. For some habits. So we're gonna do in conversations. I'd like to get all of those. Let me get rid of that bar. And we're gonna just uh, pass the conversation like that. And we're gonna give it a property called conversation. We're gonna pass that ourselves. So. All right, so let's go to our conversation component and we're gonna tell it that the 
we are expecting some props and this prop that we're expecting is called conversation it's going to be an object and uh, from that object what we're going to get is uh, so the url for the image we don't have that i'm just going to keep the image static like that so hard coded you can if you have that in your user database you can pass it uh, i do however have the conversation dot uh, username so i have the username and i have a date so for the date uh, um I'm going to be using a computer property because we don't want to display the date uh, because to display the date I mean even if you are using uh, if you are using moment.js to display the time ago you can just do date like that and right here you can just return so we can return a new date and text this dot conversation dot created at and maybe to local string so instead of what I'm doing you can use the moment instance right here so if I go back and the refresh, you're gonna need. Oh, God damn it. Let me just make sure that I didn't misspell this because I noticed it was it was kind of short. So we have that going back and refreshing. You can see that we're gonna get these two right here because I have two conversations. I created one, and you can see the dates being displayed right here. So let's uh, let's not forget about the content as well. So we're just gonna gonna do conversation dot content and for the content you can do the same thing you can trim for example if you have like a thousand line message you can trim it at this point it's just going to be displayed uh, you know like like it is and uh, that's not nothing to worry about to be honest at this point so we have that what we're going to do is we're going to worry about the view router right now because what we need to do is we need to click uh, one of these conversations in order to get the conversation to the right that is going to require uh, the view router and that's what i said that we cannot do one thing without the other so we have to get the conversations set up the route and then we have to get the other thing using you know we're going to continue with the store getting the other conversations uh, you know getting the messages for the conversation so let's just go ahead and get started i'm going to do uh, npm install uh, view router and that is going to install the view router for me so jumping back to the app.js file we're going to need to do a couple of things. The first one is going to be import the view router and uh, from the view router that is still being installed. Yeah, it's done. And hopefully it's going to index. So yeah, it does recognize that. So what we need to do is we're going to create two things. So the first one is going to be a const routes. It's going to be an array of routes. And uh, the second thing is going to be the router itself. So we're going to do a new uh, view router this one takes a bunch of options so the mode I'm not gonna use history because that is gonna mess with my my thing so history basically means that it's gonna display the whole URL but if I try to access the conversation directly it's gonna cause a problem because uh, it's gonna it's PHP who's, who's gonna be responsible for that and it's gonna display a page that does not exist so we're just gonna change the mode to abstract so we don't get that and the, the routes are just the routes that I have right here and finally let's just do router like that and uh, let's set up some routes so we're gonna have two just two very basic ones so the first one is going to be a blank one and this blank one is going to, do, to be displayed for example if I just log in to a conversation what oh come on I fucked up uh, if I you know ah god damn it so let me just uh, I shouldn't have refreshed so let me just uh, continue with this and explain why I'm doing this. So as you can see, uh, once I log in and I have absolutely uh, no uh, conversation selected, I should absolutely see nothing right here at this point. And I just wanna display some blank, uh, you know, white background. And uh, to do that, I'm gonna create a blank. So let's just go to the right and I'm gonna create a blank, uh, blank of view component. This component is gonna be pretty similar to the right. And the only thing it's gonna have is I'm gonna get rid of the messages and everything. I'm just gonna change it. We're gonna add some style. We're gonna do with 100% and I think a background color is gonna be required. So we're gonna do white like that. And uh, if I go right here, I need to, no, not here. So the app.js, I need to tell it that the component is gonna be blank like that. And it's going to import it from, holy shit, this is amazing. I didn't, I didn't know you can write it right here. It's gonna import it. So, yeah, and uh, the second one we're going to have, so this is when we log into the application when we are still at the root of our application. The second route we, would, we, we want to have is the one with the name. So once we click on a conversation, we would like to go to that conversation so we can load some data and all that stuff. 
and uh, we're gonna have basically the same thing so I'm just gonna copy this and this one I'm not gonna call it blank it's gonna be called conversation and it's gonna be conversation so this is the URL and we're gonna have, we're gonna have a parameter called ID and uh, that is going to give us the, uh, the right component all right so like that now if I go back and refresh as you can see, uh, nothing is going to change at this point. That's because it does not know uh, which URL to use uh, as of now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, force uh, the root URL right here so we can display this uh, component. So we're gonna do router.replace, uh, so replace, and we're gonna change that with a slash, which is the root of our uh, thing. All right, so let's see what this error says. And uh, yeah, that's because I forgot the most important thing, which is, which is you probably guessed it view.use i want you to use the view browser all right so let's try this again uh, as you can see i got no error but we still have uh, the thing to the right but it's not the correct thing that i want all right that's because again i forget the most important thing which is where to display all this stuff that we are doing right here that is going to be in the right section actually not on the right section but on the on the app.view, what we would like to do is instead of displaying that directly to the right, we would like to display our router view based on whatever we're gonna get. And uh, let's see if this is gonna work right now. So as you can see, we have absolutely nothing, but once we click on a conversation, we should be able to see the right side for that conversation. So let's just go ahead and worry about that. And that is gonna be done in the conversation. And uh, what this is going to have is instead of having an A, which is an href, an anchor link, we're going to have a router, a router link. This link is going to have a 2. So this is basically where this, uh, this should uh, redirect to. And I have the path and everything set up. So I'm going to give it the name, which is conversation. Remember, that's the name that I used in the app.js, which is right here. Basically, I'm trying to construct this route right here. All right, so we're gonna give it that, and we have some params because as you can see, we have the ID, which is a parameter. And I pass the ID, and the ID is just a conversation. I think it's conversation dot a conversation ID, so like that. All right, so I'm just gonna refresh this right away and see what I'm gonna get. So yeah, as you can see right, I, uh, right here, I got these two links. You can check, uh, keep your eyes right here and see that I have conversation slash one, conversation slash four. Those are the conversations that I have. And clicking on one of them is going to display the right section uh, that accordingly to that. Now, one thing that we need to do right away, we, we don't want to forget about this, is I'm going to add a mounted and I'm going to do console.log this.route. So this is how you get the params, the ID that is in the URL right here that we constructed so this is how you get you get the id you just use this route params and out of params whatever name you gave in the app.js just use that right here so if i refresh and i click on this so i'm going to click on the jasmine conversation so i'm going to click on this and i'm going to get four now notice when i click on the second one it's not going to do anything that's because it's keeping the same component and it's not re-rendered which is not what we want we want to destroy the first one and create the second one now what, we, what needs to be done is in the app.view, what we have is the router view and we need to get to give each one of them a key and that is going to be unique. So we're gonna pass a key and the key in this case is just gonna be the, uh, for the route, we're gonna get the four path. That's the unique thing, that, the key that we're gonna be using. So notice that when I click on this and I click on the second one, it's gonna be, keep re-rendering each time we, we want that. And that's exactly what we are looking for. So what we need to do is we're gonna jump to the right section and as i said this uh, as you can see when i click uh, it's not doing anything that's why we'll, because we need to go to the active and i'm re not really sure where the active class is coming from let me just do this and uh, so basically i'm going to take this router link active and i'm going to give it to the active so if i just force active right here just to see where that is coming from so i'm going to do active and uh, this active so active is coming from list group so what i'm going to do is i'm going to jump to my main.css and uh, at the bottom i'm going to take this uh, router link active and i'm just going to give it i know this is not how it's supposed to be done but please give me a break i'm not a css guy and i don't want to deal with css right now 
I'm gonna refresh this and if I click nothing happens that's because I'll probably have to you know probably have to add important to all of them again this is not how you want to do this it's not important it's not the solution but I'm just trying to you know get done with this so as you can see we have that thing going on and that's exactly what we want uh, going back to the right section so right what we would like to do once this is done we would like to get the conversation and we're going to be using the store again we're going to do this store.dispatch uh, get messages for the conversation let's just get the conversation so get conversation and what we're going to pass is the id of the conversation that we would like to get the messages from like that and then i'm going to keep this empty until we need that so i keep saying stuff and writing other stuff so we're going to do conversation and we're going to create this new one which is called uh, get messages and again we definitely going to need to commit and then we're going to need the conversation id and just like before we're going to return fetch and we're going to get that from messages slash the conversation id and we're not going to set conversation we're going to set messages now when we pass the messages we have to pass the conversation id so we can know which conversation to update so let's just uh, do a conversation id which is the first thing that i have so can't you conversation id so this fucking thing can you just have fucking so we have the conversation id and the next thing we need to pass is the, uh, the payload which is just the result in our case so that's all we're gonna need and uh, i was so we're going to create this mutation again, so set messages, and uh, this one takes the state and an object which, ha which has two things, the conversation ID, I'm just going to copy, I'm tired of writing this, and uh, the payload. And what we're going to do is pretty basic, so the first thing we need to do is we need to find to which conversation these messages belong to. And to do that, we're going to use the state dot, we're going to use the find, and so conversations dot find. This one takes an item, so each conversation we're going to iterate through, we're going to get, try to get the conversation ID, and we're going to try to see if it equals the conversation ID that we just got. So once we get that, we're going to try to add the messages property, which is going to be an array holding these. Now, the problem with this, and I already talked about this in another video, in the to do thing that I made is that view once we try to set the message uh, you know using a prototype like uh, messages it's not going to be a reactive view is not going to know what is going on so what we need to do is we need to set it using view and to do that we need to import view from view and what we need to do is this so we're going to do view.set and we're going to tell it what to set and what to set on so we're going to set the messages on this object that we're gonna find right here and what data do would you like to have there so we're just gonna give it the payload we would, have, we would like to have the payload there all right so let's create the <coughs> God damn, the messages getter and this one is going to take the state and I'm gonna pass the parameter which is gonna be the conversation ID so it's just called conversation ID again and I have to pass it so basically inside the state if you as you if you are not using error functions you would, you would have to give it a function and within that you need to return a function which has this as a parameter all right so what we need to do next is uh, so state conversation ID and do we need to find the state so let me just copy this line so we're gonna cop uh, we're gonna find which conversation and we're going to try to get the messages within that. All right, so hopefully that makes sense. So I must not forget, I'll forget the return. And we're just going to go back to our uh, right section. And let's use a computed property. So computed. And we're going to add the, so we're going to call this messages like that. And this is going to be a regular function. We're going to do return this dot star, so star dot getters and from the getters i'd like to get the messages getter and this one as i said takes the what does it take it takes the id of the conversation as a parameter so let's uh, let's just do that and let's try to display some messages and i'm just gonna do i'm just gonna do it right here so like uh, that 
just to see if we have anything. Uh, I don't, I'm not really sure if it's gonna display that. So yeah, it does display that. So as you can see, all the all the messages that we got are displayed right here. So what we need to do is, <clears throat> uh, I need to loop through this. So again, I'm gonna use the template and within that the, the for, so v4. So for v, for each message, index again in the key, just in case, I'm sorry, for I have it in the messages. We're gonna pass a, a message property to that. So let's just do message like that. And uh, yeah, let's just jump to the message section. And at this point, we're gonna tell the, the props, we're gonna get a message, which is gonna be an object. And uh, let's, so I'm not gonna worry about the conditions like uh, doing this to the left or the right. I just want to see the messages right there first then, and then we're gonna worry about that. So uh, let me see, we have the date. Now the date, we're gonna do the same thing that we did in the left, so uh, the conversation actually. So we're just gonna take this computed property it's ours to steer, so we're gonna do a computed. And uh, let's do date again. And this is the content of the message. So this is gonna be message dot, dot uh, content. And uh, the image, that's uh, nothing to worry about right now. And I think that's all we have. So I'm gonna refresh and I'm gonna click on the adjustment conversation and I got a billion errors. So this dot conversation. Uh, yeah, because this is dot message, not conversation. RC in a message. So I'm gonna click again, and as you can see, we're gonna get all the things, you know, the messages that we have. And I need to remove this last one. All right, so uh, I'm just gonna change this to, to local string just to get the entire thing right here. So yeah, like that. Now, a couple of problems that you're gonna notice, so let me just put this to the right so we can focus on this. Uh, you're gonna notice that this is not scrolling by default, and I'm gonna worry about that after I, you know, I handle uh, this being to the left, uh, this being mine, and this being the other user's uh, message. So what we, need to, what we need to do is, we need to add, for example, if it's mine, I would like to add a margin left, which is gonna be automatically pushing this to the right. So we're gonna add a margin left of auto, to push this to the right. And to do that, we're gonna be, ba so basically we're gonna use the, the class. And uh, what we are telling it right here, if the message dot is mine, actually, we are, we, it's the other way around. Uh, we're gonna add this class of message uh, margin left auto if the message dot mine is true. All right, so let's see that in action. I'm gonna go back and as you can see, it's gonna add, so this is the, these messages are mine. So basically it's gonna add a margin left to it a margin left of auto to them. And uh, the second thing we need to do is worry about the so the colors. And actually, before we get to the colors, let's remove the avatar. So if the message is not mine, just give, don't show me an avatar. So we're gonna tell it message.mine. So if the message is mine, show me the avatar. So if it's not mine, show the avatar. Basically show it for the other user. All right. Again, we have that out of the way. Now what we need to do is this BG light, this is related to, so if it, this is BG light, and uh, the other one, which is uh, mine, needs to be in blue, which is BG primary. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a class again. So I'm gonna remove this one. I'm gonna use class, so fucking class. And this one is gonna be, if the message dot is mine, so if the message is mine, give me the BG primary, which is gonna be blue. If it's not mine, I would like to give me the BG light. All right, let's see it again, step by step. All right, that is working fine. Next, we need to make the text white. So if it's mine, make the text white. So let's, let's again copy all of this. And uh, I think there's a way to actually add a computer property for the classes or something. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about that. So this text muted uh, doesn't need to be here. So we're gonna have a condition. If the message is mine, I need the text to be white. So text white. If it's not mine, I need the text to be muted. So let's, let's just go back and see that. So yeah, as you can see, we have that thing right there. Okay, so let's scroll down to the bottom. I would like whenever I get all my messages to scroll down to the bottom like this automatically. So what we need to do is we need to go to our right section and I'm gonna add uh, a thing right here. So we're gonna add a reference to this a ref and I'm gonna call this messages uh, body. And basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this entire height of this, of this thing, 
Uh, and uh, we're just gonna set top to that. Actually, it's just scroll height, not the entire thing. And we're gonna set top to that so we can basically have it scroll to the bottom. And to do that, let's just create. So we're gonna do methods and I'm gonna create a, a new one called scroll down, scroll down. And basically what this is going to do is just going to do this. We're gonna get the refs, refs, and the, the messages body, but messages body, what we're gonna do is we're gonna set the scroll top, scroll top. We're gonna set that, that is going to, to equal the this refs messages body dot scroll height like that now we need to call this once this is done so this is where we're going to use our callback our promise callback and we're just going to do once this this is done just do this this scroll down and i'm going to refresh again so i'm going to click on the conversation and you're going to see automatically i am at the, the bottom of my messages and uh, we're still gonna have to come back to this because once we start typing messages, it's gonna be stuck right here. But that is uh, something that we're gonna take a look at in a second. So let me see. We are displaying the messages. We have some content, the images, and uh, everything else. All right, so I think it's about time that we're gonna start actually sending the message. So let's just go to our input.view. And the first thing I would like to do is I would like to give this a view mo a v model. And this is gonna be the content. So let's just do content like that. And uh, whenever I click enter, so basically I'm not gonna handle this button right here. I'm just gonna in handle the, you know, press and enter on this. So when the key up press, or I think that's what it's called. So key, yeah, the key up. Once I release the enter key, I would like for you, and from the enter key, I would like for you to call this message, send message function or method. So let's just go ahead and create that. Now, since I use this V model, I will have to create the data first. So let's just do data and uh, fucking syntax. So like that, like that, an object, and it's gonna be content. And let's just give it some empty string. And then we're gonna have the methods section. We're gonna have the send message. And this is where we're gonna dispatch something to to the star so basically we're gonna call this star dot dispatch and we're gonna call this one post message yeah let's just do post message and we're gonna give it the yeah the conversation id again so rams dot id like that so let's just head up to the conversation.js file and let's create this new one and obviously always this is gonna take commit and the conversation ID. So let me just take this one again and paste it right here. Again, we're gonna use fetch. We're gonna use a slightly modified fetch. And we're gonna post to the messages slash conversation ID, but it's not gonna be a get. So the fetch takes some parameters. The mode, actually the method, is gonna be post. And the body, so basically this expects some, some sort of a body that we're gonna send in the post and the body is going to be the form data that I'm going to create in a second. All right, so I just realized I didn't send the content. So what we need to do right here is I'm going to use an object and uh, I'm going to call this first parameter conversation ID and it's going to be this dot route dot params dot ID. And the second one is going to be the content, which is the same content that I have right here. So just this content. All right, so going back, hopefully this is not going to blow up in my face. So we need this form data and I need to get the content. So I'm using the D structure again. So let's just create this form data and form data, form data, the object. And let's just do form data dot append, and let's just append this content to that. So content, and yeah. So that's basically all I'm gonna need to do. Now I'm not gonna need to set the messages, but I need to add a new message. So we're just gonna add a message, and we're gonna send the conversation ID to which we would like to send this to, and the payload, which is gonna be the result. And uh, yeah, so let's just do that first and then we're gonna worry about setting the last message for the conversation. So uh, add message, let's just create this mutation. 
And this add message is gonna be pretty basic. It's just gonna have a push functionality. So we're gonna take the state, so state, and we're gonna take these uh, exact same parameters that I have right here. And uh, we're just gonna do state dot, so basically the same exact code that we have right here. So we're gonna try to find the conversation first. What? So we're gonna try to find the conversation first, and then we're gonna set so dot messages, and we are pretty sure we have some messages at this point because we are using view set right here. We got the messages, so we have that, and uh, so view messages dot push, and we would like to push the payload, which is the last message that we got. So let me see if this is gonna be any good. I'm gonna refresh. And I'm gonna to go to the Jasmine conversation. So I have he, he again, and I'm gonna send the uh, Kiki. All right, so uh, expected, 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 what is this? Yeah, that's because we have the Merkur server turned off. So what we need to do is, I'm just gonna run it so quickly. So let's just do GWT key, equals the conscience my key, the add, oh, fuck. The address is going to be localhost 3000, so 3000 like that. The course allowed uh, origins is going to be HTTP uh, slash localhost 8000, and let's call the event slash map here. Hit enter, so the server starts it. Um, I'm going to refresh just to get rid of the error. I'm going to try to send another message to see if I have any errors. So the message has went and I have no errors. And as you can see, we have the message Kiki again. So I'm just gonna see Fifi. Fi. <laughs> just uh, as you can see, we have the message right there. And I need to clear this right away. So let's just go to the input. I'm sorry I'm jumping between these a lot, but. Uh, so the input is just gonna take another function, an empty one. And we're just gonna do this content equals an empty string. And uh, I always like to try this. So AWD, as you can see, we have AWD, and this is clear. Now notice that this, what the fuck? Notice that this, once I send the message, does not scroll. That just kind of be stuck here, and I have to scroll manually. Now to to do that, what we need to do is we need to watch whenever we uh, the messages change it changes. We would like for for you know for this uh, thing to be executed again to so the scroll down. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create. So in the watch, we would like to watch the messages. And uh, this, this takes a function, uh, it's a single value. And whenever this uh, this thing changes, uh, basically I would like for you to, you know, to scroll down again. So we're just gonna take this, scroll down, place it right here. All right, now notice that this is not gonna work initially because, see this, because this is quicker than, so it's being executed. So if I do console.log, so you can see. So if I do console.log the value, notice that it's gonna be executed right here. So this is the first one, and this is once I send a new message. It's changed, so it's gonna execute the function, but it's being executed too early. So what we need to do is we need to add the, so we, can, we need to execute on the next tick. So we're gonna do this, next tick. And this takes a callback, and we're just gonna do that again. Notice how cool. so it's gonna be, so it's gonna work obviously. So I'm just gonna see, uh, I'm gonna type working one, and notice that we're gonna be scrolled to the working one immediately. Uh, okay, so I think that's all we need to do at the right side. We need to set up uh, the last message for the, you know, for the conversation. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, go to the conversation.js again. And going back to, to to the bottom, so in the commit, I need to commit another thing. So set last, um, so set conversation last message. All right, so we're gonna take that. We're gonna pass the same parameters, and uh, we're just gonna set this. Now, basically, what, what we're gonna do right here is pretty is pretty similar to what we did earlier, except that we're not gonna add any messages whatsoever. We're just gonna go to the conversation. We're gonna change the date, and we're gonna change the so change the date and change the content for that message. And I need to use the R function. And to do that, we're gonna be using the same thing right here. So we're gonna take the conversation and let me save this somewhere because we need to change multiple things. So as I said, we're gonna change the content. So we're gonna do content equals the payload.content that we got from the thing and the created at so can I spell create add correctly? Yes, I can. 
it's going to be set to the created app. Now let's see if this is going to work. So the working one, I'm going to type uh, OS and I'm going to hit enter. So as you can see, both the date and the content is being updated. But if I go to the user, notice that we're going to go to the user and I'm going to type, for example, post. Now this is not how, uh, how this is expected to work. So basically what needs to be done is whenever I get, uh, so I want to get the most recent some most active recent active uh, conversation at the, at the tops so basically this uh, 546 18 should be at the top so to fix this what we need to do is instead of returning our conversations like this we actually need to sort them yeah we need to sort them that's how i want to say i don't know why keep saying some random stuff so basically we're going to use the sort function this one takes an a and a b so a b like that and basically we're just going to return we're going to check if the a dot created at because we are return you know we are sorting by dates it needs to be uh, less than b dot created at so basically if i do that and uh, i go to jasmine again and i try to send the d message it's automatically going to jump to the top which is exactly what we want all right, so as you can see, we have this functionality working. Now what we need to worry about is the, you know, listening to some of the events. And actually one more thing that I would like to do before we move on. Notice that, uh, as you can see, I'm gonna clear this. Whenever we try to get a conversation, so basically even if we get a conversation, it's gonna be, ex uh, you know, the code to refetch and that is gonna be re-executed each time. And as you can see, we have some transfer, you know, some data being transferred right here. So what I would like to do basically is, whenever i get uh, the message the first time that's it just give me the first messages once i start you know appending to them i'm still having my js so we don't have to waste a lot of bandwidth and uh, yeah so to do that it's pretty easy what we're going to do is go to get messages and we're going to need the getters so we're going to go to getters like that and what we're going to check is if we have any conversations uh, any messages right here so if we have messages in a conversation and uh, then don't get me any because I already have those. And basically, I'm not gonna check if we have messages. Basically, I'm just gonna check if if it's uh, if it's not so if it's undefined, that means we don't have messages. That's that's basically what I'm trying to say. So we're gonna go to uh, get where's get messages. So this we're gonna do if this dot get uh, no what the fuck getters dot get so messages basically and we're gonna pass the conversation id and we're gonna make sure if this is undefined then i would like for you to execute the code below if it's not then just mind your damn business don't do anything all right let's see if this is gonna work so we have uh, nothing i'm gonna click right here uh, it seems like nothing is working so i successfully broke this and uh, that's because <laughs> this, need, this needs to be outside so undefined Let's add another equal. We would like to check the types. So I'm going to remove everything again and I'm going to get the Jasmine conversation, then user, and that's it. We're just going to get the first one and we're not going to be wasting any bandwidth. And if I type any messages, of course, I still have them right here. All right, so it's time for some real time functionality. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to listen for the conversations and we're going to update those. And to do that, we're going to need a bunch of stuff. So uh, if you remember, as I said, we're gonna to subscribe to slash conversation slash the username. So this is where we're gonna use the user.js uh, state. So we're gonna be storing the username. So it's just username lowercase, this is the state. Uh, I'm gonna make this small, it doesn't matter. The getters, I'm gonna do a uh, username like that. It's gonna give me the state, uh, so the state. It's gonna give me state.username. And we have a mutation, which is set username. And this one takes a state and a payload. So payload and just do st does state dot uh, username equals the payload. Right. We're not gonna have any action, and that's because I'm not gonna be making a request to the API. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the index right here, and I'm gonna get try to get this from the data. So we're gonna do data username equals the app dot user dot uh, username. And uh, in my app.js, I'm going to get this value. And since I have access to the store, what I can do is I can directly just, uh, before I instantiate this, I can do just store.commit. So if I can just spell commit correctly, I can do set username. 
and pass it the data that I would like the payload. And the payload in this case is coming from the the app, as I said, the app thing right here. So we're gonna get, we're gonna use the selector ID. We're gonna get the app, and from the data set, the data set to access the data that we have right here, we're gonna get the username. So dot username. All right. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna jump back to. Now I, I'm just getting the username because I'm gonna need it. What we need to do now is discovery. We're gonna try to find uh, on which. Uh, URL should we listen to get the updates and if you watched the Mercury video obviously you're gonna know that we're gonna be using discovery and if I go to the symphony Mercury uh, pushing data to whatever you can see that they are exposing so in the discovery they are exposing the links so let me just go to the match they are exposing this link header which contains the hub URL and I'm doing the same thing. Now where am I doing this? That is being done when I try to fetch the conversations. So conversations, if I go to the headers, you're gonna notice that we have this, what? No, 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 no. Uh, actually it's this one, not, uh, it's this one. Uh, it's the link. So as you can see, we have this link right here. So we're gonna try to get this URL out of this and we're gonna add the topic to it. So um, so let's go back to the conversation. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Conversation.js. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the hub URL right here. So basically I would like to have another module for deconfiguration, but I'm just trying to finish this quickly. So we're gonna have a, a hub URL right there and we're gonna create a getter for that. So we're gonna call this hub URL and state just do state dot uh, hub url and we're gonna set the hub url so set hub uh, url and it's gonna take uh, it's gonna take a state and the payload which is gonna be the url itself and we're just gonna do state so just do state dot hub url equals the payload that we're gonna get all right, so when are we gonna do this? So as I said, we are getting the conversations and within that we are getting the header. So the link header, where we're exposing the URL. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the conversations and right before we turn this into a JSON, and then we return this, so it's gonna be the last thing. This is where we're gonna parse the result.headers.get result uh, the link. Yeah, it's called link. And we're just gonna take the code, so the regular expression, so we can take that out of the... You know, to take what the fuck? What the fuck? So we can get uh, what is that? So we can get this value out of this entire string. All right. So we need to do so. Do URL so hub URL equals that and just commit. We're just gonna commit right here and do set hub URL and we're gonna give it the payload which is the hub URL. Okay. So we're gonna do it like that. Going back to the, okay, so we're gonna be doing the conversations first. So we're gonna do left dot view. What we would like to do is once we fetch the conversations, I would like for you to start uh, listening for any incoming incoming messages to this section. What? So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use a callback right here and we're gonna do const event source. So we're gonna be using event source, basically the same exact thing that I did in the Mercury video. It was a shit video, by the way. So event source, and this takes the hub URL. And now how do we get the hub URL? We can use the map getters. So we're just gonna do hub URL like that. And uh, yeah, so which topic? So let's just do new, uh, what the fuck, let. Uh, this is the new URL because we need for each hub URL we need to add the topic that we're going to listen to. So we're going to do new URL. We're going to use this API. So search params, params dot append, and we're going to append the topic to the goddamn thing. So the topic is going to be, yeah, it's going to be slash conversations slash the username. And the username, we're gonna need to get that using the getter because we just set it in the store. So let's just do username like that. And this dot, come on, come on, come on dot, username. And let's pass this URL right there. And then we're gonna do event source dot on message equals. So we're gonna just do, 
just gonna console log for now just to see if this is working actually let's just use debugger instead so i'm gonna refresh this and uh, i'm gonna make sure that i okay so at least one argument required i didn't pass yeah i need to pass the hub url to this so i'm gonna refresh again what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna open these side by side so we can make sure that the this is working and this is a bug by the way with the with firefox uh, i'm not really sure if it's a bug but uh, if you see this cannot establish connection to the server at the same thing that you are uh, trying to to listen to that's basically because if you for example i just refreshed the page without closing so i didn't explicitly call uh, the event source that close and that's what is uh, what uh, what is causing the problem basically it's just keeping this in memory somewhere i think and uh, Actually, that's not the case. Uh, I, that, that is my bad. Wait, 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 wait. Scratch that, scratch that. Uh, in this case, it's saying that because I, I am not sending my uh, my credentials. So, <laughs> sorry about that. And just, let's just do true. I thought it was this. Let me show you. Uh, we're going to get this error in a second. So I'm going to refresh again. Yeah, as you can see, uh, this interrupted thing, this is what I was talking about. So uh, when it says that it was interrupted, it's uh, it's because uh, it's keeping the same connection somewhere in the memory, I think. But for the authorization thing that we just got, we just need to add with credentials so we can send the cookie that we wasted some time creating in the Mercury video. All right, so we have on message, what we're gonna do is, uh, as I said, we're gonna create another page. Uh, we can log into another page, we're not gonna create anything. So Jasmine, six zeros again. And uh, I'm going to send a message to the admin and I should see something right here. So I'm just going to be DDDD again. And as you can see, we got the debugger, which means that is working perfectly. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a function. Uh, it's not a function, it's a method. So methods. And we're going to call this uh, add message. So um, actually, it's not add message, it's just update uh, conversation. Conversations. It's a plural conversations. We want to update a lot of conversations. And we're going to take some data right here. So let's just take this and we're going to do this dot update conversations. And right here, what we're going to need to pass is the data. And to get the data out of the event, we're just going to do json.parse event.data. That's the data that we're going to pass to this uh, thing right here. And, and update conversations, it's pretty basic. We're just going to do this. Uh, store dot commit and uh, we're just gonna create a new one called update conversations now update yeah yeah that's perfectly fine update conversations and uh, we're just gonna pass it the data that we got all right so that's all we're gonna do at this point right here and uh, let's create this so let's go to the conversation.js and uh, go into where is that the mutations we're gonna create this new one and just like for the state and the payload. Uh, what did I send? I sent some data. So basically, I think we're gonna do this. We're gonna try to find. Yeah, we're gonna uh, for the conversation ID. Uh, so for my thing that I just got uh, the. They just send me from the payload. I have a conversation array, and within that I have an ID, and that's the only thing that I need to do to check. And everything else is going to be the same. So let's see if this is actually true. So I'm just going to go back. Uh, I don't have any error. So Jasmine is going to send a message to admin, and admin is not subscribed to. So it's just subscribing to the conversations to the left. So if I do hello. This update conversation is not a function. That's because, um, yeah, that's because this uh, keeps changing. You know, in an error function, it just uh, references the parent. And uh, so, what I'm gonna do is I'm uh, fucking JavaScript, man. I'm just gonna inside my VM variable. I'm gonna save this. So I'm gonna save a reference to this, and I'm just gonna keep using VM whenever I keep uh, going inside these callbacks. And uh, going back again, let's try this. So I'm gonna send, uh, instead of hello, I'm gonna send bye. And you're gonna see bye is being, uh, you know, message is being updated accordingly. So if I go to the user and I do the same thing, it's gonna happen, to, so the same thing is gonna happen. All right, so let's change this just to make sure that something is working. So as you can see, user is at the top. 
and uh, I'm just gonna try to send a new message and uh, hopefully Jasmine's gonna go to the top. So I'm gonna send DD. Yeah, Jasmine just went to the top because I'm using a getter and I'm sorting the conversations based on the date time value. All right, so that is for that. Now, what I would like to do is, you know what, let's keep it like this, it doesn't matter. Let's go to the right. I don't want to overcomplicate things. Let's go to the right. And what we're gonna do right here is pretty much the same thing. So we're gonna go whenever this is mounted, we're going to get the conversation, uh, we're going to get the messages of the conversation and we're going to scroll down and then we're going to basically listen to the same exact thing. So we're just going to steal some of the code that we just wrote and uh, put it right there. So instead of conversation, this username, we're going to use this route because we are dispatching to two topics. The first one being the user, the conversation for the username and the second one being for the conversation of this guy right here all right and uh you know for this uh, conversation with the uh, for the conversation with the specific id why can't i just say simple stuff and uh yeah yeah so basically we're going to do the same thing and right here what we're going to do is we're going to add a message and let's just call it add message and uh yeah so that's all we're going to need to do at this point let me just see Okay, so let's just go ahead and create this. So again, uh, I'm using this VM, so I need to create it. So we're gonna do this, set the variable, and let's go back to the methods section and let's create this add message, and it's a function. And yeah, so this is going to call the store. So we're gonna just do this store.commit. We're gonna call the same function that we have earlier. So when we send, uh, not send, but when we uh, input a new message and try to send it to the user, uh, basically we have the same, so we already have the code, we're just going to re reuse it. And we're going to send the conversation ID, which is this dot route. Oh, I can't type this. Um, like that. And then we have the payload, which is the data. So just make sure the variable is uh, the correct one. So data, and that's all we need to do. So we are getting the data and doing that. All right, let's, uh, let's try this again. So let me just lower this. And Jasmine is gonna send a message to, so let me just see. Admin is going to send a message to Jasmine. So we're gonna say, hello, hello Jasmine. And she got the message. So what she's gonna do is she's gonna tell him, hello, admin. And notice that once I'm, uh, I'm gonna click return, the message is gonna show up right here. What the fuck did not? So I have some sort of an error. Your is not defined, but yeah, that's because I forgot to get. So this hub URL, I don't have that right here. So let's steal the the map getters and uh, let's put them in the computer. Yeah, PHP is not just went fucking crazy again. So I got to restart it. Uh, as I was saying, we're gonna add the. We need the hub URL inside this. So let's just go to the left and uh, steal some map getters again. And uh, we don't want the conversations. We just want the hub URL. We don't, we, even though we, we don't want the username, definitely don't want that. So let's just import the map getters that we're gonna need. So import map getters from uh, Vuex. And uh, going down to the bottom, let me just try this. I think that's the only thing we were missing. So if I go down and, uh, you know, try to initiate a conversation, hello. So I'm gonna get hello right here. So hello back. So I'm gonna hit return, the message is gonna be right there. So there you go, guys, we are almost done. Uh, one thing that I would like to do in this case is, as you can see, whenever we destroy the conversation, we're gonna have the connection you know, the conversation, uh, the connection, the event source thing is gonna keep listening. So what I would like to do is I would like to, whenever this, uh, so whenever we try to destroy this, I would like for you to close the, you know, the event source. And to do that, what we need to do is we need to get this event source from here to, I'm gonna save it in data. So I'm just gonna do data like that. And the, uh, yeah, and let's see. So data, we're gonna just call this event source. It's gonna it's gonna be null by default. Doesn't matter. Doesn't have to be anything. And right here, what we need to do is instead of this, uh, instead of const, we're gonna use this. So there and uh, there. 
and uh, right here what we need to do is we need to so before we initiate a new one let's make sure that we don't have anything in it so what we're going to do is we're going to do if uh, this dot event source equals event source is uh, equal to null so if it's null that means that we have absolutely nothing and we are allowed to instantiate a new object new instance uh, if we if we don't then uh, so if we, if it's not null then don't do anything it means that we already have something we already have an event source within that and the second thing that i would like to do is before destroy i would like to check if uh, if this dot event source is uh, is an instance of uh, so you can check if it's null or if it's an instance of the event source, uh, I would like to check it, uh, that it's actually an instance of event source. That's because because that means that we actually have the the event source dot close function, which is what I'm going after, and uh, that is not going to change anything in terms of you know what you're gonna see. But uh, once we jump from this to this one, uh, each time we're going to close the connection, we're going to open a new one. I'm not really sure if this has any effect on performance, but I'm just trying to, you know, to not to have any weird behaviors. So I would rather do this than just keep it uh, the way it was before. So I, I'm going to finish right here. I'm so tired. My throat hurts. My throat hurts. And uh, uh, yeah, if you have any questions about this, let's just do a recap. So what we did is we installed Vue. Uh, webpack Anchor, we have you running. We stole this UI from somewhere and we broke it down into different components. We have UX uh, for the store, so we are using modules and uh, we are getting some API, you know, making some API calls from the store. I don't know if everybody, uh, everybody agrees with that. And uh, we are using the view router to display different conversations. And we are updating the left conversation uh, using an event source and updating the right conversation using, you know, the conversation itself with messages using event source. And I think that's all I promised to do. So that's going to be it. Uh, yet. And uh, if you have any questions, please leave, let me know. And I'll see you guys in the next one.